Uh, some young people have taken the responsibility to improve the all-important township tourism uh, and create job opportunities, and it's having real positive knock-on effects. Well, yesterday, the young entrepreneurs receiving recognition at the inaugural Soweto Tourism Awards ceremony, the event taking place under the theme, I understand, Back to the Roots. Well, um, for more on that, I'm joined by uh, some of the recipients, two of them. It's wonderful to have Mpumalelo Mtinso with me, uh, Youth in Tourism Award winner, and Melissa Dambuza from uh, Disofeng Pub and restaurants and urban lifestyle recipients. And Pumalelo is actually with me in studio. So let me start with uh, you, first of all. Uh, and I'm seeing the hoodie. I'm yep. seeing a bicycle. And there's the story. Tell me about this. <laughs> so um, I come from a company called Puki Pony, um, and we specialize in bicycle tours. Uh, we do tourism in the township, but our specialty is bicycle tours. And bicycle tours has always been so important as well. But as I take a look at why it is that this stands out, there's two things that I find very interesting. One is you can't just get on a bike and ride around. There's a catch. You tell me about yeah, that catch. Yeah. And the other is learning to ride a bike. We can't just assume everybody can ride can a bicycle. Ride, yeah, yeah. So let's talk about the book. All right, cool. So basically the company is called Book Iponi. Mm. Uh, Iponi is a township slang for a bicycle. Mm. Um, and then the book element uh, comes in whereby we offer discounted bicycle tours to any South Africans that book our tours and they donate a book. And then we take those books and donate them to community libraries in and around Soweto. So that's why it's called Book Ibon. Love it. Yeah. So essentially, it's called Book a Bicycle, but we wanted to bring the Soweto in it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so we call it Book Ibon. Right. Very clever. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we, we offer lessons on how to ride a bike because we've been doing this for the past four to five years now. Mm -hmm. And we've had people that book bicycle tours, but they've never been on a bicycle before. So, so they're keen, but don't know how to. Yeah. So we saw an opportunity there that we can actually extend the business and offer bicycle lessons um, and also it just rolled out to servicing bikes and selling bikes in the township mm -hmm. um, so that people don't have to travel far to maintain their bikes or to get bicycles really for Christmas. I'm going to talk about the award and the, the success that you're seeing now in a moment in Pomelelo. Allow me just to go over to uh, Melissa though. Uh, Melissa Dambu is a head of marketing at uh, Diesel Feng Pub and Restaurant. And Melissa, hello to you and congratulations uh, to you as well. And I'm leaving your discussion with me as a complete surprise uh, because the awards just handed out. I'm not exactly sure uh, just how you've gone about this. So just give me a bit of background on your story. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Uh, good morning to you guys in studio. Uh, congratulations, Bookie Pony. Uh, I was, was praising you guys yesterday. So, yeah, uh, so basically how we got to be involved, uh, obviously, you know, with the um, Evan Lifestyle categories, uh, it's, 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 it was just open pub and various other uh, restaurants. Uh, but I'll, I'll speak for, for us, you know, more than anything, um, with our involvement and then how we tapped into, uh, you know, the tourism market in Soweto is that a lot of times, um, you know, when these guys are having these tours, um, we are one of the stops. So whether it's lunch or maybe, you know, some, some fun variety, uh, you know, activities there. So it was, it was, it was quite, it was a little bit surprising because a lot of times, um, you know, this award or rather this recognition goes to, you know, guys there by the Villa Gaza precinct. So we, are per we operate a few kilometers away from that. Uh, but, you know, to get this recognition, um, it's, it's quite good. And congratulations to, to both of you. I'll tell you why, because I was about to ask you uh, about the challenges or Lisa faced by entrepreneurs. But what I'm hearing here is collaboration. It, it's literally a knock on effect for both of you in this case, isn't it? Oh, no, uh, definitely. Uh, without collaboration, nothing's going to happen. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, with Bookie Point as well, I mean, you, you can hear the story how it goes from, you know, you know, the books, donations, you know, collecting all these things and having to give back to, uh, to, to charity. Uh, without that, you know, the, even the book, the book element within that business basically goes away. So you've got bicycles, you've got books, uh, and uh, you've got uh, uh, lunch as well, and breakfast and dinner or whatever else you might get. And Mpumalela, I want to ask about this collaboration. Uh, while the collaboration is happening in a positive way, I suppose you also go through challenges together, and you recognize all those challenges. What, what do you still need? What isn't working for you? 
Uh, well, yeah, collaboration is key. Mm. Um, and I think also just if we can get access to the market, really, because uh, we're doing tours, obviously, with under the Soito Tourism umbrella, um, trying different um, online platforms that we can get um, ourselves uh, listed on. Mm. Uh, but I feel like there's also a, a bigger opportunity as SA tourism as a whole to give the younger guys with different experiences because also tourism is evolving. Um, yes, we tell the stories of uh, the great Nelson Mandela and everyone that fought for our freedom, mm. but a lot of travelers these days, they have enough of that information exposed to their disposal mm. wherever they come from. So they want to see something that they don't know. So that's where we come in with something different. So if maybe tourism can shift focus a bit to say, okay, yes, we'll, we'll preserve the history, we'll continue telling the historical things, but also what else is new? Can they, you know, give us a platform to tell what is new or show what mm. is new? Yeah. We have people that book and they say, can we not go to museums? Show us how you guys live in the yeah. township, you know, show us where you hang out, which uh, places like the Sofen comes in, mm. you know, um, and other places that we collaborate with. So. So I think the platform for us to show and speak about what's new and the trends in tourism, mm. um, I think that will help. Uh, well, Lisa, I want to get your thoughts on that. Uh, a lot has been done. You've obviously done all the hard work. You're being recognized for it. Uh, so we're hearing the marketing from the tourism side. What would you want to see change? What's the challenge for you just before I say goodbye? Sure. I think our challenge is currently, because we are a brick and mortar b uh, business, so we can't move anywhere. Uh, so I think uh, the biggest challenge for us is to basically, you know, reconnect with the, you know, with the city, with the municipalities, to basically use, you know, the common areas around where we operate, because you know, uh, space is obviously owned by, uh, you know, by you know by the city and stuff like that. So if they could basically just come in and, then, you know, uh, you know, allow us to basically use that space. Uh, basically works quite well, creates a lot of businesses, creates a lot of, uh, you know, uh, job opportunities for communities as well. So that's like, uh, like for me, from a marketing point, and also seeing how, you know, we could grow the brand and then within the tourism sector as well. So the use of common areas is, um, it's rather a, a challenge. So I think if you know, the guys are listening or, you know, if they can catch it later, this is something they can basically, uh, you know, look into. And that is why I wanted to ask you that, because it helps us take the conversation forward. We can now take this to you know, various organizations, maybe SA Tourism, and go, look, here's the issues on the ground from two award winners. Yeah. You know, how do we try and fix this? That's why I was asking both of you. I need to say goodbye to the two of you in a second. But before we get there, I don't know if either of you are Hotspur fans, uh, Tottenham Hotspur fans, but you knew I was going to ask you this. <laughs> so, uh, Umpumanelo, I give you a billion rand of tourism budget. Very briefly, what do you do? Do you sponsor a soccer team? Uh, <laughs> probably would, uh, but not right now. Not mm. where. What would you do with it? Right now, probably go look at other small businesses that are in tourism because there's a lot of us out there, and maybe try see what they need. Mm. Like for us, we'd need lots of bicycles, maybe another branch outside of Villagas Street, like it's mentioned, because tourism is bigger than the street Villagas Street. Mm. You know, mm. Soweto is huge. So maybe we can invest in different townships because also uh, with tourism, with the history, it goes beyond and outside of Soweto. Soweto, yes, will always be the, the go-to place. It will always be the attraction. I mean, it is the biggest township in, in, in South Africa, but there's other places uh, around the country that played a huge role in bringing the country to where it is. So maybe maybe if we can look at those because I know a lot of people have their own opinion about sure. this one billion rand it's a great idea I don't think at the moment it's what South Africa would want and well, Lisa let me leave you with the last answer briefly as well if you don't mind if uh, you had a billion rand from SA tourism what would you do with it yeah look first of all uh, uh, I mean we are we are you know during um, we're doing renovations now in the business so I definitely put it in there but yeah, you know, look on it. <laughs> but on a serious, but on a serious note, I personally I don't think that's a bad idea. Um, but perhaps maybe the timing. Um, yeah. But I think if it's something I were to, you know, basically have a hand in, as uh, expand ex expand our reach, you know, um, throughout the whole country, um, and and perhaps the greater Soweto more than anything. 
That's a lovely way to end it from both of you. Congratulations uh, to uh, Mpumalelo joining us uh, this morning uh, from Bukibornia. Yeah, everyone in uh, Velikazi Street knows exactly who Mpumalelo is, so if you haven't been there, go do it. Uh, starting from house number 7189 yep. on Velikazi Street, which is significant. It's near Mandela's house yep, it's as well, so easy to find. So congratulations to you, uh, you Mpumalelo, for coming in this morning uh, to speak to us. And via Zoom, Lisa Dambuza, head of marketing at Diesel Feng Pub and Restaurant. So while you're on the bike, while you've gotten a book that you brought with, you can stop for lunch. You can stop for a bite to eat as well. It all works very nicely, doesn't it? It's, it's